Okay. Let's see, see the dark green one. Keep going, okay. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's on this purple. No. You might be finding it soon. Hey, this is a very tricky game. You made very good job, by the way. Okay, in this game, Haya, you. what you Haya, what you can add is you can, you know, add the description on top that you have five chances and you have to find the gift in these boxes with these uh, with within these five chances. So you can add this thing, you know, on top and as a heading. Okay, add this thing and Haya, can you make a video on it? A Zoom video after the class. Make a zoom, make a higher make a zoom video after the class in which you will record the session playing this game having five chances. Tell the description first about this game and then uh, try to play this game as a player and then tell that you know exactly where the gift lies. So this is going to be a very good video. Okay. You have to make this video with your screen or camera on and record the session. Send this session to me on Google Classroom. Okay. On the okay. Where, where the assignment, where I put the assignment, you have to upload that video over there. Okay. I'll send this video to Ms. Oh. as well. Okay, guys, this is a very good game. Now let's uh, see. Uh, any other boxes? This box doesn't have it. Okay, this is a very tricky game. Let's see the last one. Okay, I'm done. Haya, can you please tell everybody where is the where is the actual gift? Um, I think on the uh, wait. Let me remember. Uh, on the second line, second box. Each boxes. The gift is not here, nothing here. Sorry, not here, empty. Keep going. You might be finding it soon, keep going. Good luck, not here. You find the gift, well done. Oh, I found the gift, okay. It's in the second row, guys, dark brown color. Good job, Haya. Very good job. Guys, you have to make this kind of game, okay, on your own by using the hover effect and the diffs, okay, with colorful boxes and write down the description of the game on top just like Haya did. Okay, the code sample is uploaded on Google Classroom where you can take help of the div and see how the hover effect is applied on each div. Now... Um, yeah, let's see how a one page website basically looks like. This will give you a hint of how to do your project. So on Google, if you go to Google, there are lots of lots of samples or templates. So I will uh, show you one template template. Template of one page website. Um, restaurant or flower. Flower shop. Okay. The best flower shop websites. Okay, let's see this one. Usually websites nowadays, guys, are um, how they are made. They are made on single website, single page. Okay, so more, the more you scroll down, the more you will see the description of the page. This is how the page starts. So get started let's see i'm scrolling down i will see more, you know more everything on the page see what is this this is first of all when i you know this page when i open this page this can be you know 
one div and second div. Say so one div will have the description and a button to other page. The second div on this page has picture in it. The more I scroll down, you know, see this is going to be the one div which has a background image. This is the uh, on this page. It's a uh, it's a div. Okay, where it has a background image, some text, and an image. Then you when the more you scroll down, okay, you will see a div, you know, of page, a page size div. No, no, no I don't want that description. Okay, um, okay, this happens because these websites, you know are paid websites so you will get this kind of thing so select a website which does not have these things okay the more you scroll down this div c has a picture then the more you scroll down there is a background color of blue what is the name of the website has some text and some image some buttons some paragraphs some headings the more you scroll down you will see a template um let's see this one jennifer flower shop or uh, yeah jennifer flower shop let's see the theme and demo of this website okay um it's loading which i don't think this is uh you know Okay, so see, this is a website under construction coming soon. This is, these are the basically templates of any website. So if you're making a personal blog website, <coughs> you are making a personal blog website, construction company website, virtual assistant website, branding portfolio website, these are some templates where you can find over here. Um, example, the best uh, pet shop website. Let's see how this website looks like. Mix is a very good website, guys, by the way, where you can make your own website. Okay, so this website is uh, has some navigation bar. Okay, like home services, about, contact, login. When you open this website, you will see a dog PNG image and a very big heading. Okay. A background color with blue with some height and width. Or maybe this is all a, a background image. Then after the image ends, there is this heading and some links. Save drawing, hand on pet assistance, by the shirt. These links are what? To other websites, okay? To other web pages. Then you have pictures of the dogs and the pets. Then there's a div in which a hover effect is coming. As my mouse scrolls down, the hover effect makes the text what? Big and visible with different color. The more I scroll down, okay? This is also a hover effect. See, these are three divs. And these three divs have some text and description and they are floating. See, if I scroll up and now scroll down, first of all, this div will come on top. Okay, it's uh, not floating right now, but it was floating before. Ma'am, we have to you make can find every our code website on Google. On... And then Ma after you move, scroll down, there is this description of, you know, their pets, what are their names. And see, if I, if my mouse goes over the picture, there's this, uh, you know, blur effect coming. Okay. And uh, the description of the, you know, some hashtags and these things are coming. As soon as my mouse goes over the image. So you can also put these kind of things, you know, by googling up. 
how to put a hover effect on picture. So you can Google it up and you'll find lots of lots of code and ideas. So this is kind of a, you know, interactive website. See, this is a hover effect. As soon as my mouse goes over the navigation bar, the links are highlighted with dark blue color. Now, how do we make navigation bar? This is one of the most important tasks I wanted to show you. So everybody open W3 school. I'll show you how to make this navigation bar. What is a navigation bar? A navigation bar is this on your page. Whenever, whenever you open any page, you will see this navigation bar on top of that page, right? So this uh, is what, these are what links to other pages html pages and uh, we will start, we will learn how to add these links inshallah today so everybody open your w3 school go to google search for your project name then you'll find lots of lots of templates and ideas of, of it okay now let's start with the googling app W3 school navigation bar. You can make a div on top of your, you know, website, remove the borders from it uh, after you're done adding things in it. And you can just copy this entire code, which I will explain you right now, and just add your own links in it and your uh, tab's name. So when you go to Google search for W3 school navigation bar, you will see this CSS navigation bar coming over here, this page. I'm sending you the link of this page in the chat. You have to, why I'm showing you this thing, guys, you have to apply this thing on Google on your project. Navigation bar is must. So you have to put a navigation bar on your page. It's a must. Okay, so there are two types of navigation bar you can make. Either it's a vertical way or either it's a horizontal way navigation bar. So it's up to you, whatever navigation bar you like on your page. I usually prefer the horizontal one because it, it's more good and convenient to add tabs in it. Let's see. Okay, by the way, what is this uh, home link contact? These are all links to other pages, HTML pages. Okay, so let's try out with horizontal navigation bar. Let's try this code. Okay, this is a very, you know, um, simple navigation bar. Uh, let's try with some, you know, horizontal navigation. Okay, when you open the CSS navigation bar, you will see the option horizontal navigation bar. So click on this button and you'll see this horizontal navigation bar coming. Click on the try it yourself button. Okay, so see there's a navigation bar coming. All you need to do is just add this code from body that is UL, 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 open and UL close. This is unordered list tag and then paste it on your code wherever you want inside the div. Example, I want this code to be inside a div, right? So I will make this insider i will add this code copy this entire code and add this add this in in my div and it will appear in my div so oh, this is very simple all you need to do in the body is add the list items you already did this unordered and ordered list right the list items are home news contact about and where is the link of this you where do, where will you put the link of the pages on in this double quotes so there here you will put the link of the page of the other page you made if there is one although you have to make a one page website 
Miss, we have to add okay, on top to... where you will see the styling. The styling is mentioned as margin zero, padding zero, and lifestyle type none, uh, list type type none, and list is equals to display inline. In display inline means there are two selectors. On order list selector means margin means if I increase this margin, see what happens. Five pixel example. Now see, this navigation bar is giving a margin of from, you know, it means this unordered list should be, example, 5 pixel is nothing. Example, 30 pixel. Let's put 30 pixel. Now, if I put the margin of 30 pixel, this unordered entire list will move to the 30 pixel left, right, up, down. See it? This uh, what is happening? This unordered list is having thirty pixel margin from here, 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 and this will float thirty pixel over here. Now we have two, three types of properties of margin: margin top, margin left, margin right. So we can use all of them. So if I put uh, example hundred, now see how this big change will come. This unordered list is coming over here because from four of the sides it is giving 100% pixel space. Now instead of margin, I will write margin. I want to give this ordered list margin from this side. Okay, what is this side? The left side. Okay. So left, margin left. So I just want margin left to be 100 pixel. Now see. This now see, unordered list is giving margin from only left side. Okay, not from top, not from bottom, not from the right side. If I want the margin uh, to increase, if I want this navigation bar to come in the middle, I will put the property more. Uh, I will increase the number, the number of pixels to 150. Okay. See how this uh, unordered list is moving. So margin left, margin top, margin right is basically a property you can apply on your navigation bar wherever you want your navigation bar to appear. Now, see these are the links, right? Now, how will you put the link of your website? Example, let me copy this entire code or notepad and show you. Just what okay, can, can you send us code sorry. in the Google Classroom? And uh, I'm making, I'm sharing my screen. Can you please send the score to the Google Classroom? Um, okay. Can you all see my home screen? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, Hello. teacher. Yes. Over here, yes. I'll create a new document. Yes. Text document. And this text document, I will name it as... Uh, home page okay open this document put the entire code of the uh, navigation bar here okay save this file first of all as a html file home dot html okay and the files all files, save it. Now, home is saved as a browser format. Now, how do I add links in it? Okay, to add link, wait, is the code, yes. To add link, I will remove this home tag. And I will put some link of any other website which I made previously. Example, this first page website I made earlier okay so this is the page website i made i'm gonna copy this entire url address from it okay see how i am copying i am copying it from here the entire url page which is saved on my desktop another you know file and i'm pasting it over here 
Okay, in the double Miss, quotes, can we do the same HRE thing? Equals to, and you try the double quotes. Now I'm going to save my file, run my code again, browser. See, now if I click on home, that website which I showed you earlier will be open. See? Again, again, see everybody. If I click on the home, playing, my own website which was saved on my desktop is being displayed because I put the link, copy the link on top of it and paste it in the href portion. So you can add this kind of links on your page from by making your own page and saving it on desktop. Everybody clear? Okay. How do you add pages on your page? Different pages link on your home page. Okay. Write down the task. Miss, what do we add in home and about? The game the task contact. is must, okay, but this is for practice. What you will do? Um, I'm sending you the code in the chat. Wait, everybody. Okay, this code I'm sending you in the chat. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, where is this code? This entire code I'm sending you, uh, which I made. I didn't make it. Um, yeah, the W3 is going to work. So I'm sending you in the chat. Everybody, please copy this code. Okay, in this code, where will you add the links? The links will be added in the HRE equals to the inside the double quotes. Okay, inside the double quotes where hash home, hash news and hash contact is written. You will add your links of other pages, your HTML pages on inside the double quotes. Is it clear everybody? Any questions? This is your homework. You have to make three HTML pages, save that HTML pages on your desktop and then add the link of them in these three, uh, you know, um, in these three uh, hash, where hash home is and hash news and hash contact is written. Yes, Suhaila, you raise your hand. Miss, I don't have a laptop. I'll be doing it in my, in my phone. So can I just yes, like Suhaila, random? I can't hear you, wait. Can you say it now? Uh, miss, I'm saying that I'll be doing a code in my phone. So, can I just add a random website wait, wait, link? Still, I can't hear you. Wait, let me increase the volume. Okay. Can you uh, can you say now? Uh, miss, I was asking that I will be doing my code in. Can you hear me now? Uh, wait. Wait, wait, just wait, la. Um, yes. Miss, is there any homework? Miss, what is that homework? 